Hi, welcome back to Unified Oski. It's one of the nurses from Unified Oski. And in this video, we want to have a quick look at the Bowel assessment, which is sample scenario. We had a previous upload on Bowel assessment, but this is which is sample scenario and to make it more simplified. Yeah, it is a silence written station. The allotted time is eight minutes and you will be provided with a stool chart with category of different types of stool. And you are expected to write your plan of care based on the identified stool type. And this could be classified as constipated stool. You, you can be given type one or type two, and that belongs to the constipated category, or you may have the diarrhea category which can be type 6 or type 7. Of course we have type 4 and 5. At the moment from the um, NMC OSCE you are not likely to have type 4 or 5. You're likely to have type 1 and 2 which is the constipated category, 6 or 7 which is the diarrhea category but just one out of all this will be given to you. So now the sample scenario we're having a look at today says we'll term the patient BA. BA was admitted four days ago following severe abdominal pain. He was diagnosed with kidney stones and has stayed in the hospital for pain management. He was on combination of analgesia, including opioids in the last few days. He is now well enough to go home as his pain is under control but reported not to have opened his bowel since admission until this morning. He, it was only small amounts he made and was hard to pass. So have a look at the picture provided. We have a sample picture, we'll come into that. Please carry out a comprehensive bowel assessment using the appropriate assessment tool provided and identify the appropriate intervention. Assume it is today and it is 11th hour. So this is the picture stool provided for you, which BA has passed. And like this is a type one stool because we can see they are in small bits hard stool. So it is a type one. You will be provided with the standard Bristol stool chart, and this is what we have. So based on the Bristol stool chart, the stool type is a picture of type one. We have type two, we have three, four, five, six, and seven. And like I said, you're not likely to have three, four, or five. You're likely to have one or two, six or seven. You'll be provided with your candidate chart as well. So you have the overview and documentation bowel assessment, candidate's name, make sure you write your name, the dates you write in your exam, the time for this scenario, it says at 11th hour. So you put 11th hour under the time. Then the type of stool I've identified based on this picture is type one. So I can either tick or just write type one under the column for type one. I'll go to the last part, which says, is it bowel not opened? I can just put bowel opened. And for the last part, depending on the volume of the stool you're given, for this, I'll just say small. So I'll write small there and I'll make sure I write my initials and sign at the end of that chapter. So let's move to the plan of care. A minimum of five points gets you the full mark. So the first point, if I'm addressing the situation, I will consider possible causes of constipation, such as medications and explore potential alternatives just like this sample scenario has been on opioids and analgesics for quite a long time i will offer dietary advice such as increasing fiber fruits and vegetable in the diet i will consider dehydration as a possible cause and encourage increased fluid intake i will encourage physical movements if possible where possible, I will encourage BA not to ignore the urge to defecate. 
I will teach BA on positive toilet habits, like ensuring privacy, good position, positioning on the toilet seat, breathing exercise, and spending enough time when going to toilet. I will propose obtaining a prescription for laxatives. I will recognize the need to continue to do uh, to assess BA bowel. No, and that's it. That's your bowel assessment with a type 1 stool sample scenario. All the best.